welcome to my mini series, five minute fat quarters. And this is the series where I show you some fun and fabulous fat quarter makes in five minutes or under. No frills, no fluff, just fat quarter. So without further ado, let's go on with today's fat quarter make. So what we will need to make our bag is one fat quarter, some scissors, some chalk, some clips or pins, a safety pin, some string or ribbon for your drawstring, a ruler, matching thread and a sewing machine. So the first thing we're going to do is fold our fat quarter in half and cut it. Then fold a small hem down on either of the smaller edges, the small sides, and pin them and give them a sew into place so they're nice and secure. Then we're going to fold another hem along the top side of the material but just make sure that it's wide enough for your ribbon or rope or whatever you've got to use as your drawstring, make sure it's wide enough to fit through. When you're sewing, make sure that your line of sewing is as far down the hem as possible, uh, so towards the bottom side of the hem, just so that there's still a gap for your string to fit through. Then fold the material over so that the nice, the right side of the material is facing you, facing upwards, and we're going to fold it in half. We're going to clip and we're going to pin and we're going to sew across the bottom and the side that's open but do not sew across the top next just trim off any extra threads and flip the bag the right way round now if you're happy with this shape and you're happy for your drawstring bag to be this pouch shape then miss this next step out this next step will create a bottom to the bag so that when you're putting things in it, it will sit up straight instead of just lying flat. So depending on what you want your bag for, just decide whether you want this or not. So to create this bottom in the bag, you need your bag to be inside out again and you need to fold your corners in the opposite way. So it's really hard to describe this, so just try and get it from the video, but you need to flatten the corners the opposite way to what they sit. Then you're going to measure in about an inch and a half up either side going to join these together with one diagonal line and you're going to sew across that diagonal line so I hope that makes sense it sounds more complicated than it is um, so if you have any questions just pop it in the comments box down below but hopefully you can get it from what I'm doing here so once we have done this on both corners just chop off those extra corners and that way we've not got any extra bulk in the bag turn the bag the right way around and if you didn't cut the corners to add the bottom into the bag, this is where you need to pick us back up from. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert your rope or string through the gap in that top hem that we left. So to work out how much of your string that you're going to need, you need to measure across the top of the bag. You need to times that measurement by two as there are two sides to the bag and then add an extra five or six inches on per side just so that you've got that extra amount when the bag is fully open. So my bag measured about nine inches so I times that by two to get 18 inches and then add down an extra 10 inches just to equal those five inches either side. So the total measurement of my rope was 28 inches. The main thing to note though is you can always trim it down but you can't add it on so if you need to cut it a little bit bigger just to be safe that's absolutely fine. Then grab your safety pin and thread it through one side of your string. You're then going to feed that through the hole in the top hem that we created. Then pull your string through so that it's even on either side and I just added a little knot into the end of these just to stop it from going back through the hole and so it should all stay in place nicely. 
and there we have our drawstring bag so this one measures roughly nine inches by nine inches but the same principle can be applied to either smaller bags or larger bags I didn't give initial measurements in the start but I think as long as you have the same sort of shape so that long kind of rectangle of material you should be able to use exactly the same principles to create something that's a little bit bigger maybe even try using two fat quarters together but yeah just be creative and put your own spin on it so I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you're enjoying this mini series. Please do show me some love and hit that like button down below, the subscribe button and the notification button and that way you will not miss out on any of my future videos. So I will see you in the next 5 Minute Fat Quarter video. Keep creative. Bye.